Becoming saved, um, it, it looks like a certain way in the world because the world has corrupted what it really means to be saved. Being saved means that you are, you are, you have been redeemed from your, your, your due punishment for all have sinned and we have all fell short of the glory of God, meaning that we are all, we were all subject to die in hell. We were all, but by the mercy of God, we sent Jesus to save us from that. But only how you partake in that is if you believe that that is the case. That's just, that's just not even the part. That's really not even the whole scope of God's plan. God's plan is restoration. His plan is restoration to give man back what was stolen from him. For the word says that the snake in the beginning, when he came to deceive them, he said he was the most shrewd, the most clever of all, the most crafty of all the beasts that God, the Lord God had created. Meaning he still created him, but he was more craftier, more sneaky. He was the sneakiest of them all. So when he came to steal, because that's when you steal something, you're, you, you're sneaking something, you're taking something that doesn't belong to you. That's what steal is, taking something that doesn't belong to you. He came and took the dominion of man, which didn't belong to him. And he placed his himself in the forefront. Last time I checked, that is fraud. That's, that's definitely fraud. He is in so many, he is illegal where he is. And God, he sees all of this for the word says a day and a thousand years is the same to God. So it's not about him being slow and returning and restoring his order. It's about how patient are you as he does this. See, being saved has nothing to do with a look. Being saved has all to do with a life that you're not even living yet. That's what saved is. It said it, it reminds me. Thank you, Lord. It reminds me of the the uh, God speaks about the the wisdom of the ants. How the ants they they stock up all summer so that they can have enough for winter. So like they they're constantly working. They're working, and it just reminds me of how. Before God returns, like, what are we doing in the process? It's like, we're, we're preparing for another life. That's what being saved is. You preparing for another life. It ain't got nothing to do with this life. Being saved has nothing to do with this life. So if somebody walk around, I'm saved and I'm saved and I'm, we pray. Now, now don't get me wrong. We pray because the word says you pray for those who are lost. You pray for the sick, you pray for them and you show them a better way. Meaning you show them your light for even it says ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Meaning that light that God has placed in you is going to attract people to you, attract situations to you where you will be tested in ways where are you going to be this light bearer or are you going to do what the next verse says it says neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel are you going to let that light shine or are you going to hide that light it says let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven 